Hey everyone, Worlds this year has been amazing. I have absolutely loved it. I wanna thank you all so much for your support and watching my content over the past couple of weeks. I could have never anticipated uh, the semifinals looking like this. It's, it's fantastic to see how well all the teams have performed. And I, I have to say something unfortunate here, which is that while Cloud9 and Fnatic and G2 are moving on, my time at Worlds this year, at least here in Korea, is over. You see, when I was planning out this world's trip, obviously I didn't know that the West was gonna do well, but besides that, even then, I thought about previous worlds. And last year, I didn't even go to the world finals because there's just not much content to make there. If you actually do a press conference, you can't even get interviews. I didn't go to the world finals, nobody even noticed. And then secondly, semifinals, normally it's like two interviews most that you can get out of it because you get one on each day. I've in the past been able to swing it because I'll be able to just interview some casters or analysts, but there's none that are gonna be there until finals, so there's nobody for me to interview there. So knowing that you only get two interviews from semifinals, you also have to think about the fact that, by the way, one of those might be IG, I hope it's G2, but it might be IG, and people don't really tend to watch my translated interviews that much, so that one eh, it doesn't really count. Obviously I get the Fnatic and C9 one, that would be nice, but I don't know, just losers don't do interviews, so it makes it tough. Uh, now, the other thing you have to consider is just how much I'm giving up to do that, right? It's a, an entire week of sitting around for that one interview people really care about, and uh, that's a lot of money as well, because I'd have to get me and Broden a flight to the new location, me and Broden hotel rooms at a place that has good enough internet where I could like, stream and do Hotline League, I can uh, upload the interviews and stuff. It's just a lot, a lot. And I also have to pay Broden, because he doesn't like it when I don't pay him. So I'd have to pay him for all that time too. That's just a lot of money and time. And ultimately, that's why I made the very difficult decision to head back after quarterfinals. And I know, I know it sounds really, really cool, the idea of me being there, but I promise you guys that like, at most we'd be getting like maybe one or two interviews out of it. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. I'd rather figure out other cool ways to provide stuff for you. And that's why I'm excited to say that we will be doing a Hotline League Live at TwitchCon if everything goes perfectly or is still on final stages. Normally I wouldn't announce it, but we're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna try and come up with other ways to provide content uh, for you guys as well for this channel. Uh, and I just have to wish the best of luck to the competitors that are going on. Um, but now Broden and I are boarding a plane. So what's next? Well, Broden and I, this plane is taking us to Tokyo. We're gonna have a short extended layover there. It's Broden's favorite city. He just wanted to check in. We're still working there. Uh, if the hotel internet works, I'll be able to do a live hotline league. Oh, Nate shot's down to come on, so hopefully we can get that going because I know he wants to talk about some of the Hunter T stuff that happened. That would allow us to talk about uh, quarterfinals, and then next week we'll be able to do, well, later this week, we'll be able to do Hotline League from TwitchCon, all things working out okay. Uh, and and Broden and I are gonna do a little bit of, of vlogging from Tokyo as well, so it's still working, uh, but we're gonna get back to LA pretty quick, and then I will head off to TwitchCon, hopefully get some more interviews with some uh, Riot casters at the event or right afterwards, as long as everything works out there. And then uh, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for supporting this, because I know uh, a lot of people are frustrated with me or annoyed that I'm not going there. I honestly, like me, I wish things were different and I wish I was staying. Uh, this feels bad to me, um, but this is just kind of the way things are. Uh, again, thanks for watching all the content. There's more stuff going up this week. Uh, and thank you to you.gg for sending me here in the first place, because. Uh, I know a lot of people at this point I'm not going to, sem to semifinals, but that was my decision. And if I had stuck around, like I don't think there'd be as good a value there for them. And I wouldn't have even been at groups and quarters if it wasn't for them. So hopefully you guys can enjoy all the content hitting the channel. Thanks again to you.gg. Thank you all for supporting. And uh, we'll, we'll be here.